हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम टू माय चैनल इलेक्ट्रिकल टेक्नोलॉजी एंड इंडस्ट्रियल प्रैक्टिस एज यू कैन सी इन दिस वीडियो वी शेल सी हाउ ट्रांसफॉर्मर वेक्टर ग्रुप इज डिटेक्टेड एज वी ऑल नो दैट ए ट्रांसफॉर्मर हैज डिफरेंट वेक्टर ग्रुप से वाई एन वाई एन जीरो वाई एन वाई एन सिक्स डी वाई एन वन डी वाई एन इलेवन वाई एन डी वन वाई एन डी इलेवन एंड सो ऑन दीज आर द फ्यू मेजर वेक्टर ग्रुप्स विच आर ऑफन यूज सो नाउ वी विल सी आफ्टर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑफ द ट्रांसफॉर्मर हाउ द वेक्टर ग्रुप इज आइडेंटिफाइड वेदर द एक्चुअल वेक्टर ग्रुप हैज बीन ऑप्टेंड और नॉट लेट अस सी वाट आर द प्रोसीड्यूर्स suppose this is our transformer at first we will discuss about the start start transformer that means whether the vector group is yn yn0 or yy yn yn6 we will see that so this is my primary terminals or say high voltage terminals this is 1u this is 1v this is 1w and this one is one in that means neutral these are my low voltage terminals say to you to v to w and to n now let me draw the vector diagram or the vector group of a start start transformer a start start transformer can have two vector group that is either yn yn0 or yn yn6 for yn yn0 the vector group look like this 1u 1v 1w 2u 2v 2w this is your yn y n zero vector group and one u one v one w one u sorry two u two v two w this is your y n y n six vector group now we will deter determine which type of vector group is this this transformer has which type of vector group for detecting that what we have to do we have to first short the two neutral points we have shortened the two neutral points now we will apply a reduced voltage to the high voltage winding secondary will have the induced voltage as per the turns ratio now if the now what we have done we have basically shortened this to two point we have connected this two points so if the transformer is yn yn0 then the summation of the total vector group then this arrangement will give you a vector group of this let me draw this is 1u 1v 1w this is 1n and up to this this will be 2u 2v and 2w if the vector group is yn yn 0 then shorting of two neutral will give you a resultant phasor of this and if the vector group is yn yn6 then shorting out this two neutral will give you a resultant phasor of this 1u 1v 1w this will be 2u 2v Sorry, this will be two W and this will be two V. One U, two V, two W, 
and this is your 1n 2n this neutral point okay now we have applied the voltage now we will place a voltmeter across 1u and 2u we also take the measurement of the phase voltage we can also calculate it if this is v if v voltage between 1u and 1v is v then voltage between 1u and 1n will be v by root 3 so you can see from this phasor now if we apply a, if we connect a voltmeter at 1u and 2u then it will give you the potential difference between these two point so from this phasor you will see that this potential difference is only this amount so if it is a yn yn zero vector group then then what will happen v1 u 2 u will be is equal to v1 u 1 n that is this phase voltage minus v2 u 2 n that is this secondary voltage which is obviously less than v1 u 1 n 1u 1n okay so v 1u 2u will be less than v 1u 1n similarly v 2 2v v 1v 2v that is this potential difference will be less than the voltage phase voltage of this and so on for this so if potential difference between these two voltage that is 1w 2w 1v 2v and 1u 2u is less than the high voltage phase voltage high voltage windings phase voltage then the vector group is y n y n 0 in this case you will see that 1 u 2 u voltage difference between 1 u 2 u is v 1 u 2 u is equal to v 1 u 1 n plus that is this voltage plus this voltage this v 2 u 2n which is greater than v1 u 1n so if this voltmeter gives voltage rating higher than this phase voltage then the vector group is star star 6 and if it is give lower than the phase voltage then the vector group is star star 0 so that is why you can detect whether a transformer is star star 0 or trans star star 6 so in the earlier video we have seen to determine the vector group of star star transformer now in the this question we will see to determine the vector group of delta star transformer a delta star transformer has two main vector group that is dy1 or dyn11 see we have a transformer like this this is my transformer the left hand side is high voltage and the right hand side is low voltage high voltage windings are 1u 1v 1w and the low voltage windings are 2u 2v 2w and 2n so for determining the vector group of a delta star transformer what we have to do we have to short these two points let me explain why a dy transformers vector group will look like this this is my high voltage delta say this is 1u this is 1v and this is 1w if it is a dyn1 transformer then my secondary winding secondary vector will look like this this is 2u 2v 2w this is dyn1 see this point is at 1 o'clock sorry this is dyn11 this point is at 11 o'clock this is dyn11 vector 
and my dyn1 will be 1u 1v 1w this will be my 1u this will be my this will be my 2u 2v and 2w this is my dy in one transformer see this u is at one o'clock position so now what will we do we will short this two point that means we will establish a connection between these two terminals let me short this two then we will apply voltage across these terminals this is v line to line this is also v line to line okay now there will be two possible combination of vector group number one possibility is this 1u comma 2u 1v 1w 2v 2w one possibility is this another possibility is this 1u 1v 1w this is 1u comma 2u because i have already shortened this two point 1u and 2u has been short circuited so 1u to b to w okay now we will measure four voltage number one is this two voltage and number two is this two voltage so our measurement will be voltage difference between v 1v 2w v 1v 2v v 1w 2w and v 1w 2v if this is a dyn 11 transformer then you can see that this voltage will be equal it can be geometrically proved you can try also yourself these two voltage will be equal so if you found v 1 v 2 v is equal to v 1 v 2 w that is these two voltage 1 v 2 w and 1 v 2 v are equal equal and see 1 w 2 w is less than 1 w 2 v this voltage is less than v 1 w to v then you can conclude that this transformer is a d y n 11 transformer here this two voltage will be equal here v 1 w to v will be equal to v 1 w to w and and v 1 v 2 v will be less than v 1 v 2 w c this voltage will be less than this voltage so if these two criteria satisfy then this transformer will be dyn 1 so what we have to do we have to short this two terminal we have to apply voltage and we have to measure this voltage that is from 1v to other 2v phase and from 1w to terminal of the others that means voltage difference between this two terminal this two terminal and this two terminal and then from the phasor diagram by checking this relation we can see 
what is the transformer vector group you can also determine the other vector groups in the same manner hope you enjoyed this video if you have any queries please mention in the comment section and if you have enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe our channel so that you can get our future videos notification directly thank you